Did you know that included in all of the Microsoft 365 business subscriptions is a product called Microsoft Planner that can help boost your team's productivity and help you stay organized and is really easy to use. Welcome back to Microsoft 365 in 5. My name is Matt and I run a company called Labyrinth Technology. We help empower businesses with the Microsoft 365 IT and cybersecurity. You can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. So Microsoft Planner is a really simple solution for managing your tasks as an individual or as a team. You can even use it as a simple way of managing projects. It's supported on multiple platforms, including mobile, computer, you can use it in the web browser, and you can also integrate it with Microsoft Teams. Let's take a look. So the first thing you need to do is go to microsoft365.com and click in the top left on the app launcher button, which is the little grid of nine dots. So here you'll see a list of Microsoft 365 apps that you have access to. If you don't see Microsoft Planner there or something else that you're looking for, all you need to do is click on more apps or where it says find more apps at the top there, just type it in and search for the product that you're looking for. And I can almost guarantee that there's at least a few Microsoft 365 products here that you didn't know you had access to, or perhaps you've never heard of. And that's what this video series is all about. So let's click on Microsoft Planner. The first thing you'll see is my plans. Um, you've also got my day and my tasks. So my day is where you can set any tasks that you'd like to work on for today. So if you do create any tasks and schedule them for today, they'll appear here. Or if you've got an incredibly busy day lined up today, rather than creating little post-it notes all over your desk, why don't you come into here and just make a list of everything you need to achieve. So the first thing I want to do today is create my YouTube video. There we go. And when I've completed it, I can just tick it off. So that's what my day is all about. Um, I can look at that in grid view or I can look at that in board view. If you click on my tasks, now this will pull all of the tasks that you've got assigned to you across Microsoft 365, including any that you might have created in Outlook, um, in Microsoft Teams or across different planner boards. So you can see at the top here, the due dates, the progress, the name of the task, and what plan it came from, which Microsoft Planner board. And you can again, look at that in grid view or look at that in board view, and that will sort them out into not started, in progress and completed. So it's nice and easy for you to see all of your tasks in one place without having to click into multiple different planner boards. We then have my plans, and that will be all of the Microsoft planner boards that you are part of. So what is a Microsoft planner board? Let's take a look at how you set one up. Click on new plan, and you've got a few options here. You can use one of the templates. There's some useful things here like employee onboarding, um, project management, or a business plan. Or if you click see all templates, that will show you some other templates. Um, but I will start with a basic grid. Um, and you can add it to a group. So if you've got an existing Microsoft 365 group, um, which is how Microsoft Teams and SharePoint sites are generally built and access is managed to those, then you can nicely integrate the access to this planner board with one of those groups. So I'd really encourage you to do that to keep things simple. But if it doesn't really fit in with one of those groups, then you can create a new group um, or you don't have to use a group at all. So let's give the plan a name. Um, let's call this um, my YouTube video, YouTube MS Planner video. Um, and if you want to, you can add that to your pinned plans by ticking that. Um, and let's click create. Okay, so I'm going to change this now to board, um, which gives you these kind of different buckets or columns for your tasks. Now, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Um, it depends how you want to organize your project. You could do uh, not started, in progress, or perhaps you're creating a massive project. Um, there's different stages to that project or there's different teams in that project. However you want to do it, you can create these buckets, which are effectively different columns for grouping those tasks together. So I'm going to think about the different stages of my YouTube video. So we have got production, post production, and uh, maybe creating my thumbnail. And to create a task, you just click add task enter the name of the task. So record the video um, and you don't have to overcomplicate this. And then you click on the task and you can assign it to somebody. So I'm going to assign this to myself. 
Um, you can also add other people if you want to assign multiple people to the task. You can add a label um, and you can edit these. Um, so we've got different colored labels here. Um, and if you want to have different tags, then maybe this is a, the red one could be high priority action. There we go. Um, or you can just use the priorities here. So we've got medium, important, urgent. So you, you can really use these labels however you see fit. And then we've got um, the progress. So is this in progress? Yes, it is. The start date, due date, and a repeat. So if this is a, like a weekly project meeting. You could set that to repeat every week. Um, you can put a description in here. You can attach files and you can create a checklist. So you can create multiple kind of sub actions on this uh, planner card. So uh, record the video, record the audio, there we go. And we can see that they appear on the card there, or I can uncheck that so that they don't show on the card. Once we've got these here, I can drag and drop them between the different columns nice and easily. Or once I'm finished, I can just tick it off um, and that's now disappeared and it shows in completed tasks. We've then got schedule at the top here so I can see any um, tasks that are scheduled for specific dates. Um, we've got some different statistics here and we've got uh, the grid view which just shows all tasks or the board view. And if I go back to my tasks, the tasks that are assigned to me will now show up there centrally. So as you can see, that's really easy to use and really easy to get set up. But how do you integrate it with Microsoft Teams? Let's take a look. So in Microsoft Teams, if you click on the team that you would like to add the planner to, and you can click plus at the top here where it says add a new tab and search for Microsoft Planner. So you're either going to see it at the top there, or you can just search for Microsoft Planner where it says search for apps. And once I do that, we've got the option to post to the channel about this tab. So that will post a little message, let everybody know that you've created the tab. There we go. So I can choose an existing plan or I can create a new plan. So I could use the plan that I've already just created, or I can click create a new plan. And let's click a new plan here. And that's going to automatically assign it to this team. So everybody in this Microsoft team will get access. My project. There we go. And that's now appeared at the top there. And if it's easier, you can just rename that so it's clear this is the planner tab. So you can click the drop down there, click rename, click planner. But all of the functionality I've just showed you that's in the web interface, such as the, the different views and creating different buckets and tasks and ticking them off, that functionality is pretty much the same in the Microsoft Teams app. So give it a go, it's super simple. Thank you for watching our Microsoft 365 in five video. I hope I answered your question. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the series. And if you found this useful, please give the video a thumbs up or drop us a comment with your feedback.